Hi, my name is Nabila Malik and I'm at my fifth year in OCAD. I just finished my thesis, I'm about to graduate and so this is my final exhibition before graduating. And the, work, uh, the title of the work is Fitra and so that basically uh, the whole concept behind my work is the individual potential for someone to connect with their creator God. And so this work is important to me because I feel like there's a lot of misconceptions and Islamophobia and coming from someone who really, really loves my religion and loves God, I just wanted to share the beauty behind it and how approachable the whole subject is. And so through my work, I just created an installation and it takes you through the different valleys and the different stages of the journey to connect with God. My name is Janine Gilbert. I'm a fourth year sculpture and installation student and um, I'm minoring in art history as well. I have my work at Beaver Hall Gallery right now for thesis, and it's entitled Injury at Track Level. And it's, um, I guess for four years, I've been riding the subway to get to school and to work, and I was documenting the decaying walls in the subway platforms, and they were going to be tiled over, obviously, in the future, but I found the beauty in this kind of like decaying old crumbling walls and for four years I was taking pictures of them I didn't know why it just was I was doing it and then at the same time I was also screenshotting a Twitter feed from the TTC that would say injury at track level um, shuttle buses running and I found that fascinating because I thought if these walls could talk so if they if they could talk the stories they would tell of tragedy trauma despair sadness and that motivated me to do my thesis work. Hi, my name is Belta McManus and I'm a fourth year sculpture and installation student who's gonna be graduating this spring. I've just recently installed my final piece for graduation at Beaver Hall Gallery entitled Vestige Echo. It's based on lived experiences of my own life that I've collected over five decades or that others have collected on my behalf. Uh, and it's been an opportunity to reflect during this time of pandemic where everybody has been isolated. It's a way for me to connect with my history and my past, but also to recreate it and restructure it so that others have these, these moments of reflection and these points to consider in their own lives and a way for my memories to become timeless as they carry on through other people having viewed the work. My name is Andrea Vendimilla. I'm a fourth year sculpture and installation student. Um, I am graduating this year and my thesis is called Templo de Reflejo. Um, so I'm an Ecuadorian, I'm here right now. <laughs> and, and Templo de Reflejo is a public art proposal for the Ilalo Mountain in Ecuador. So the Ilalo Mountain is in Quito. And what I did uh, was create a space that uh, helps people connect with the land and the culture. So the public artwork is a, is a proposed uh, structure to put on top of the mountain. And it uses symbols um, that are prevalent in our culture. And the temple is, um, is a temple that has no religious iconography. It's just uh, a place where to contemplate the land and connect with the culture and have these spiritual feelings without having uh, a religious background to it. 